Hello Capricorn, we're going to be doing another love reading and this time we're going to look at what's going on in your connection at this time or what's going on for you in love. What do you need to know about the person that you are dealing with or might be dealing with and what can you expect next? What's the near future outcome? As always, these readings are meant to be general, so they will not resonate with every Capricorn watching. So take what resonates with you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. So let's jump right into the reading. Spirit, angels, guides. Messages, guidance, please, for Capricorn. What do we need to know for Capricorn regarding love, regarding relationships? What's going on for Capricorn? in love at this time spirit what do we need to know for capricorn what do we need to know for capricorn okay five of wands okay starting off with a bang seven of coin and a high priestess okay so um hmm Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Capricorn, if you're new here, you should check out your playlist because um, the collective that watches my videos, the Capricorn Collective, they seem to have someone that they've been dealing with from their past that keeps showing up. Now, I don't know exactly if that's this energy. We're going to find out the more I clarify. But I can tell you that whatever's going on for you in love right now, there are difficulties. There is either drama or conflict or just you can't get along with someone or there's outside influences affecting your connection. That's this five of wands. And I feel like it's casting doubts on the future of this connection. Someone is anxious or unsure or is having doubts about the success of this connection. But I feel like they're not really sharing this. Or maybe their intuition is warning them. The signs could be cautioning them. Uh, maybe they're noticing things that they didn't notice before and they're gaining some sort of knowledge about this whole situation. So we'll clarify in a second, but let me get some energies down. Can I get some more energies for Capricorn? Okay, regarding love, what do we need to know for Capricorn? What are the energies surrounding Capricorn in love? What are the energies surrounding Capricorn? in love yeah there's inner voice someone's inner voice is speaking to them the high priestess here strong bonds strong bonds and ties can influence someone's decisions or actions um i feel like this this could even be a family drama for some of you friendship drama that's something some sort of bond i feel is affected by what's going on bountiful harvest this is about planting seeds watching them grow and manifesting abundance so the message that i'm getting right away is that there's some capricorns watching where you thought this was it you thought this was the connection for you you thought this was the partner for you there was a lot of promise a lot of potential with this person and now you're having doubts about this i also get the sense that some of you put a lot of work and effort into this connection so that it would succeed and there was a lot of good that came from that energy that you put into it but there's outside factors that are influencing your connection or affecting your connection um so let's get to clarifying here bottom of the deck the wedding bells card okay long-term commitments wedding marriage union some of you could be married maybe some of you hope to be married um, I really hope that a marriage is not in between you because that always means that things are going to take a lot longer and a lot be a lot more difficult. So let's get some clarity for you. Tell me about this Five of Wands. What's this Five of Wands about for Capricorn? Knight of Swords. Fights. This could be verbal fights, verbal arguments. Or a truth that causes arguments or conflict. The star, Aquarius energy. Healing, faith, renewal. Someone could be wanting to talk about the problem. 
to heal us. And Seven of Cups is here. Mm, Seven of Cups, interesting. I feel like someone has a choice to make about what to do with this problem. Maybe that's why your intuition is so important because you have to kind of wade through all of the BS to get to the clarity or to the right choice, etc. Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Is there something here about truth or information or a conversation that's very important? Either you had a conversation that gave you clarity about the problem and now you have a choice to make or you're finding something out that's causing problems but the truth cannot be ignored you know once you know it you can't unknow it the emperor carries energy interesting tell me about the seven of coin let's keep going why is the seven of coin here what do i need to know about the seven of coin five of cups yeah someone's having like i don't know they, there's regrets here difficulties yeah nine of wands there's been it's been a lot it's been a, a hard journey and then there's the world and i feel like someone's wondering if there's potential here for this to kind of like for there to be a new cycle period i'm getting okay i'm hearing like can we get past this that kind of energy like can we move forward because something has clearly gone wrong here and this could also be Capricorn that you have had difficulties in love in the past maybe those difficulties those relationships are over but they're still affecting you now because now you have doubts about the future I do see that that could be the case here you know just with all the energies that I see so far maybe you were influenced by friendships or family members or maybe your intuition just told you that you had to end that situation. But now you have doubts that you're going to be alone or you won't find something else. That you won't have, that you won't have this world. There's a Ten of Pentacles. Long-term success, commitment, stability. But I feel like that's probably a small number of you that this is a past connection that has ended for good. I think some of you, this is something that's currently going on. Um, I, th I think, did I say some of you? Most of you. Okay, so let's see. Tell me about this high priestess. What do we need to know, Spirit, about this high priestess energy? The death card, yeah, Scorpio energy. Tell me about the high priestess. Yeah, someone's intuition is telling them like that something either has to end or change here. Because there's doubts now that this is the right thing for you or that this is going to be successful in the future. Queen of Coin. Yep, Taurus, Capricorn, um, Virgo energy there. Tell me more about the High Priestess. Tell me about the High Priestess. Five of Coin. Someone could be worried about finances, you know, about their stability, their financial security. There's the Ace of Swords. Once again, I feel like there's some sort of truth or conversation that has taken place or will need to take place because this clarity is important. Um, you know, and it's interesting because I feel like maybe you're dealing with a person who wants to heal this. Uh, but I feel like you're evaluating if you even want to do that or you're thinking about the choices that would have to be made in order to heal this or change this for the better. But five of wands, five of cups, five of pentacles, fives are all about conflict, change, movement. And I feel like that's exactly what's happening here. There's like a conflict for someone or, or a conflict in a connection and their intuition is telling them something about that. And you have to listen to your intuition here because something is clearly not wrong. And I, th I hear someone say, is it even fixable? Can I even fix this? Can we move past this? I'm still hearing someone say that, you know, and it's like, you need, you need to know the truth about something, or you need to be honest with yourself with this ace of swords, knight of swords. Um, you know, do you have all the information? Do you have all of the clarity that you need? I feel like this is important. Let's get some more insight here. Tell me more about this connection 
for this situation for Capricorn? What do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know for Capricorn? What do we need to know? Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay, so I feel like something has to, like a decision needs to be made uh, sooner rather than later. Can I get one more for Capricorn? What do we need to know? This one. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Heart to heart conversations at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I feel like this is important. This is like the Ace of Swords. Like someone needs to have a heart to heart to decide what they want to do to make the decision they need to make. I feel like feelings are not really the prop. I mean, I feel actually I was just corrected. <laughs> so feelings are part of the problem because they're interrupting this inner voice energy. That's what I'm getting. It's like your feet. Okay. Your feelings have kept you here in, at a, at a, in a stagnancy. So things have not moved forward or, or moved back. It's you're stuck because of your feelings. Okay, this is so strange. <laughs> um, and I don't know, this could also be your person's energy. But I get the sense that feelings have actually been a problem here. It's like someone's feelings have been manipulated or someone's feelings have clouded their judgment. And that's why heart-to-heart -heart conversations are important. That's why the Ace of Swords is important because the Ace of Swords cuts through that, through the murkiness of feelings okay so let's see what we need to know about this person tell me about this person spirit that capricorn is has or will be dealing with what do we need to know about this person's energy what do we need to know about this person's energy i'm ready to commit what do we need to know about this person's energy? I would take it all back if I could. We need to talk. Yeah. There, a conversation needs to be had here. But I almost wonder if you're on the same page about that conversation. You know, I wonder if what you want to talk about and what they want to talk about are the same thing. So let's, I'm going to move these over so that I don't have more room here. Tell me more about this person's energy. What do we need to know, Spirit, about this person's energy towards Capricorn, towards this connection? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's energy? What do we need to know? Justice, Libra energy, making things right, balanced, fair, making a just decision. Four of swords, healing, reflection, thinking, and the king of swords. This person wants to heal this connection and they're hoping to do it through a conversation. I'm ready to commit. I feel like that's all you, that's what you've been wanting to hear. But it's like it's it's only happening now or something like that or it's almost like you're ready to commit to this connection, but um conversations aren't going to get us there. Queen of Cups. Your intuition is very important. Let me get a different deck to clarify these energies. Can we get some clarity for Capricorn? Tell me about justice. Tell me about justice. What do we need to know? The Emperor, Aries energy. Tell me about justice. And the Eight of Wands. Yeah, I'm going to make things right. I'm going to take charge of the situation by reaching out and communicating and talking things out page of wands yeah and then the four of cups is almost like how i feel you taking this capricorn it's like mm, 
I'm not sure if that's it. And then there's the Queen of Cups again. I feel like the Queen of Cups is an issue. I don't know why. Let me know if this is resonating for you in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. Tell me about the Four of Swords. What's this Four of Swords about? The Hermit, Virgo Energy. Yeah, they've been thinking a lot about what to say. I feel like they've evaluated or, you know, taken the time to make this a, the right. It's almost like maybe while they've been reflecting, thinking, they've learned something. And that's why they're like coming in to talk. Yeah, the devil. There you are, Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Virgo or an Aries. But it's, it's almost like someone wants to just like talk to you here. Approach you. We can heal this. We can work on this. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles almost flipped over. Six of Swords. But again, I feel like some of you are thinking about moving forward. Or or if you can move forward with this person. I think if it were up to just emotions. Yeah, there's the Nine of Wands again. I think if it were just up to, if it was just up to you how you feel about this person. Or the emotions you have. Um, the bonds that you feel you would be with this person tell me about the king of swords but it's not about just feelings here I feel like feelings haven't helped tell me about the king of swords what's this king of swords about Aquarius Libra Gemini energy what do we need to know about the king of swords three of wands what do we need to know about the king of swords knight of cups yeah this person's probably going to come in um, when they talk to you, they're going to probably apologize. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, and tell you that, you know, they're hoping for a long-term commitment here. Possibly marriage. And the Three of Wands is telling me that it's like they're waiting for your reply. Waiting for your answer. How would you take this? Okay. Let me get one more for how this person is thinking or feeling. What else do we need to know? about how this person is thinking or feeling when it comes to Capricorn. What else do we need to know about this person's energies towards Capricorn spirit? What else do we need to know about this person's energies towards Capricorn? I wish I could go back in time. Yeah, I wish I would take it all back if I could and I wish I could go back in time. But that's the thing, we can't go back in time we're human okay they want me to just look at the bottom of the deck i can't deny that you are my soulmate okay so again the strong bond is there between you and this person so where is all of this headed in the near future what can capricorn expect spirit in the near future what can capricorn expect in the near future what can capricorn expect in the near future. The devil again. Capricorn energy. Page of cups. Okay. And the two of wands. So the same energy as we've gotten so far. Bottom of the deck. The moon. Pisces energy. Capricorn. I feel like this person. You're going to have a choice to make. Two of wands. Page of Cups. Whatever they come towards you to say, you're going to have a choice to make. Now this devil energy, I feel like this is the bond that you have with this person. It's a very strong bond, but maybe it's not the most healthy. Or perhaps this person is relying completely on you to make this decision. Tell me about the devil. What do we need to know? Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups shows up again. Tell me about the devil. Yeah, and there's the Ace of Swords with the Five of Cups in the middle. Look at this. This is exactly the energy I've been getting. It's almost like, yes, there's love and feelings here. But someone needs to be clear and truthful about the past. Five of Cups. About the regrets that they have. Or maybe this is you not wanting to repeat mistakes. And so maybe in the past you followed your heart. But now you're like, no, I'm going to just do the logical thing, the objective thing. I'm going to think with my head and not my heart. Because thinking with my heart 
led me here. I hope that this is even showing up <laughs> right. But that's that's the energy I've been picking up so far. Okay, tell me about this page of cups. What's this page of cups about? Three of swords. Oh yeah, this is definitely an apology. I'm sorry I hurt you. I'm sorry for the pain that I've caused. Six of wands. I still want us to have a future. Yeah, death, Scorpio energy. I feel like some of you have already ended this or have made a change in this connection that have forced your person to come forward. And again, this is a common theme with Capricorn readings. Um, so if this resonates for you, check out the playlist, which is linked in the description box. I have a playlist just for Capricorn. And this message has been kind of repeating. It's almost like once you, you took a stance or set a boundary, this person is trying to kind of work with that because they're fearful of losing you. I think this person's going to apologize, but the two of wands tells me a choice has to be made. A path must be chosen. Tell me about the two of wands. Seven of swords and queen of pentacles. And then there's judgment at the bottom of the deck. So that's the issue. There's almost like a trust issue here. I feel like you don't trust this person's intentions. Or maybe you don't like their approach. Maybe they didn't handle this situation the way that you thought they would or should. Or maybe they were immature. And now that they're coming in to ask for a second chance, you're like, I, I just don't trust. Yeah, I just don't trust that this is that I'm that things are going to be fair to me, justice. And then there's the Ten of Swords. So once again, I feel like you have to it's like you you're making a choice between really working on this and balancing this out or ending it for good. And I feel like some of you, it's it's the potential that kind of keeps you there. It's like, oh, but things were so good. But the past was so good. But we have so many good memories. So many things that we are bound to or attached to. Or we have financial ties. Or something like that is like keeping you here. But I still feel, I don't know, I feel like. If only you had all of the answers because the moon is here the moon showed up a few times so I, I sense there's doubt it's like if you only had all the answers you would be able to really make this decision in, a, in an easier way I also feel like this Queen of Pentacles is you you've leveled up in some way or grown or matured in some way and I think this person is seeing that So in the near future, I think this person is going to reach out to talk to you and it's going to be an apology. I was thinking about extending this, but I feel like we got all of the information that we needed to get from this reading. Um, the only thing I feel like I'm missing is their true intentions towards you. Um, the Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, they tend to be very genuine. The Emperor tends to be a someone that doesn't play around and neither does the King of Swords. The King of Swords doesn't play around either. So I feel like when I see these energies, I think, well, this person means well. And they have regrets. They just, they can't go back in time. That's the problem. So I'm going to just leave it there. Um, thank you so much for watching Capricorn. If this resonated for you, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can uh, see more videos from me. Thank you so much to everyone who takes the time to like, share, and subscribe um, or comment. It helps me out so much here on YouTube. YouTube really takes those analytics and they kind of decide if my video is worth uh, showing to people. So it helps out a lot. It's a free way of supporting what I do here. Um, and I really hope to hear from some of you in the comments because you guys leave some of the best comments just like my Geminis. So thank you so much for watching Capricorn and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.